The new GTA Online update here has been out for a couple days here, and before we wrap up this event week here in game, I wanted to show you guys something awesome because Rockstar buffed a lot of OG content in this game, and so in this video, we're going to be checking out some of these OG missions, exploring the triple money payouts, all of that, and so I hope you guys enjoy. Literally right as I started recording this video, all the cars went absolutely insane. Not sure what's up with that. Maybe it's because I just executed this person in the street, but let's jump into this. Hopefully you guys all enjoy. If you do, make sure to drop a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online, then consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. The mission that we're doing right now is one of the highest paying Lamar contact missions, which is Lost MC Rip. And on screen, I will showcase basically a spreadsheet and a chart of all the Lamar missions, the Lamar lowrider missions, the co-op ones, as well as the Ron contact missions. All of these are triple money this week, and you can see the RP as well as the cash payouts with that triple bonus. Honestly, this is just a very, very enjoyable contact mission here. All of these are because, you know, it's just OG stuff. You drive around on foot. Or, you know, you drive around, you do on-foot combat. You can use weaponized vehicles if you want, do all that crazy stuff. But honestly, I just like taking a nice sports car, a soup car, sometimes taking an SUV over, a truck, whatever you want. And you just start clapping some enemies. You know, this is the classic GTA Online that I think a lot of us miss. And it's refreshing to have back in this game. Because while the content that we get nowadays obviously pays a lot more... I would say it's a little bit more in depth. I mean, you could boil every mission in this game to like, you know, drive here, shoot these enemies, steal this car, drive it back, whatever the case. Like some mix and match of that is everything that this game is. Even the heists just boil down to that. All the setups and all that boil down to you taking vehicles or stealing something or taking photos of something, whatever the case may be. But these missions are honestly just such a treat to play. And, of course, you can see me taking a lot of damage. We are playing on hard mode. All the missions we're doing here today are going to be on hard mode. So we can get that additional 1.5 times money in RP from the hard mode um, bonus that you get. If you play on normal, it's 1.25 times money. And then, of course, if you just play on easy or standard, you're getting just, like, normal payouts. I guess, yeah, we'll take cover behind one of the headstones here. Why not? Like I was saying, though, I really enjoy this type of content. I really do wish that Rockstar would permanently triple these missions and these rewards because I think it would just be... It would just give players a lot more to do in this game, you know? A lot of this stuff is very simple combat and everything like that, but I think if players had the opportunity to get triple money on this stuff just by default so that if we did have a week like this where we got triple money in XP, then it would be essentially nine times money in XP from the original. Look at that, $58,500. Um, as well as 9,534 XP. Solid, solid cash money and RP there. Just for a couple minutes of our time, two and a half minutes and literally only 22 kills. This mission is a contact mission for Ron. And honestly, this is probably one of my more favorite Ron contact missions. Sorry if you could just hear my cat. She just <laughs> sneezed on, the, on, on her bed that's sitting on my desk right now. Um, oh no, the coquette crashed into me, dang. So yeah, this mission is honestly very, very fun. You have to steal a boat. But there's a bunch of enemies that are basically camped out here, right at the dock. So it's kind of fun to just pull up and take it very tactically and slow and start killing these guys one by one. I think for the sake of this, let's use the M16. I haven't used the M16 yet today, and I feel like in every single one of my videos, I have to use it because it's just such a solid weapon. I also want to make sure I got my outfit in check here. Of course, the neon tactical baby. Let's go. So... Let's see where these other guys are. This mission actually will usually take you about, I want to say like five minutes or so, just to clear out all the enemies, especially if you're playing on hard mode, then you got to take it a little bit slower, because despite these guys being that far away, they could still somehow laser you. It's pretty funny. I feel like maybe for the sake of these videos one day, I should switch to free aim too. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see me do like a free aim video. I play free aim in Red Dead Online because you get extra XP for killing enemies. But in this game, uh, one... I feel like, despite you using automatic weapons, free aim actually makes it almost a little bit too challenging when you're playing some hard mode content, just because the enemies in this game literally laser you. Once they're supposed to lock onto you, they don't miss, whereas in Red Dead Online, there's actual, like, variation to the bullets that they shoot at you. So, hoping GTA 6 has a little bit better combat. Combat that's similar to Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online in the sense that the enemies can't just laser you from across the map. Of course, they're AI, but they shouldn't be programmed to kill you from an infinite distance and have 100% accuracy like they do in this game, you know? So, 
Let's see, this guy, oh my god, he's trying to blind fire me, buddy. Not gonna happen today. Take cover real fast. Destroyed. I don't want to use all this armor, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna be doing it. So now all we need to do, we killed all the enemies. Now we just need to steal this boat and to deliver it to the math lab that we need to take Ratten Canyon to get over there. I think we get like a phone call or something. Oh no, Ron just texts us. He says the quickest way to the Alamo Sea is going through Ratten Canyon. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing here. And here we are, you can see the yellow Corona. Now let's just pull our boat up nice and slow, like we're actually parking it. And perfect, that is mission complete for us. Now we need to take out just some more of the lost members. It's not too big of a deal. For the sake of this, I am gonna hop up here. Let's use the military rifle now. You just wanna watch out because I think there are some explosives that are kind of littered throughout here. I'm actually not positive. Sometimes, I could have sworn there were gas tanks, but maybe not in this mission itself. Maybe it's just in that drug wars mission. I'm not exactly too sure, but you just have a few more enemies to kill. Not a big deal. It is fun, of course. Just basically some simple OG ground content in this game. And just blast all these fools. We have like two enemies left. This guy's sitting here behind cover. Headshot, boom, we're done. Let's see how much money we get. Mission pass for a final payout of $63,900. 15 job points as well as 10,529 RP. Finally, we're doing a mission called No Smoking, which is yet another Lamar mission. And honestly, I feel like as the Lamar missions go, this is one of the more higher paying ones as well. It's one of the highest paying ones that you can get in this game for your time spent. I feel like uh, low key, I have had trouble playing this mission before, funny enough, because some of the enemies just do a crazy amount of damage on the truck and there's like a bunch of cavalcades that will crash into you they could make you lose the trailer and that's the problem i've had before is i've actually lost the trailer and then i failed the mission because of that and i'm sitting here like why is that the case like has this really happened and yes it has so we're gonna try and be a little bit more careful today and not lose the trailer <laughs> so we're just gonna try make that happen let's go in right now take this truck we collected the trailer and now all we need to do is very simple we just need to take this 1.32 miles to the depot and we're gonna be good to go um so kind of like i was saying earlier with the other mission i just wish that rockstar would permanently triple all of these because while it is repetitive content some some players are gonna find i mean i do find it to be the same way it is repetitive at the end of the day no matter what way you want to spin it but that doesn't mean you can't have fun with it and they're still just simple it would just be good to get that triple money and i hope that rockstar kind of rethinks that decision if you know because the reason we've never had contact missions get a triple buff or just like permanently triple the rewards oh see like that we almost lost the trailer right there you crash and then you are really at risk of losing the trailer i'm pretty sure we just got extremely lucky right there because I've taken less of an impact on this mission before, and I haven't lost, or and I've lost the trailer because of that. So the fact that we just got away with that one right there, I would say we're pretty lucky, if I may say so. It's kind of tough to kill these drivers too because they sit right behind the trailer and the truck. But I think, see, since we shot that guy, he ended up crashing into everyone else. So I think we're good to go home free. This guy's on his little scooter, but we gotta we gotta shoot him off. <laughs> Yeah, I really do wish that Rockstar would triple these rewards permanently. I feel like a lot of a lot more players would play these consistently. And even if they weren't triple payouts, think about this. There's, I don't know how many contact missions in this game there are, but no one wants to deal with them because they don't pay any money. We're missing out on so much content because of that. So that's just something, it's a little play I have I wanted to discuss in this video. $59,400 for, again, just two and a half minutes of work and 10215 RP as well. So that's pretty sweet. So with all that said, we're going to be wrapping things up right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this live gameplay playing these three OG contact missions here in this game. Like I said, check out that spreadsheet for all the final payouts. You could take advantage of that and use that to make lots of extra money this week. We have a few more days left of this event, so definitely worth getting to grinding if you have not started already. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe 
subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks. We'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.